All right, we are here at Will Myers with Health Markets, and we're doing a play with Jeremy, with Jenga. Jenga with Jeremy again today. I got that wrong. Sounds exciting. Yeah, thanks for joining us, man. Yeah, thanks for having me. Oh, this I'm is a bad doing one. Doing too good. It's a bad one right here. There's a there's a trick here on the way you put them in. You got to figure it out yet? I do. I took me a minute to figure it out. Doesn't mean I'm good at it. You're halfway. It's the it's the it's the angle plus the the side you put it on. Agreed. Oh, we fell apart. I should have hidden like a c completed one in the bottom down there. Oh no! There. Oh no! Oh no! Two, one. Oh no. All right. Oh wow. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> done this before. You've done I, this I before. got after it this time. <laughs> You've done this a lot. Oh, I think I think I Wow. I cheated. There was one down here I grabbed. <laughs> you just it. pulled it all out. That's <laughs> exactly what I was doing the whole time. Man, um bummer. Yeah. <laughs> Failure. All right. Um I'll go first, you know. Okay. All just, right. you know. All right, good luck. Thank you. Do we do a rule of like how far down you got to go from the top? I don't know. We really haven't done that. If you have a rule, we're, we're totally good with it. Got again, nothing. again, it's it's been a few months since I've played before. We got nothing on here. I'm going to start with because I just uh, this is my my brain's always on food. But what's your uh, is there a secret spot in Nashville that you would tell somebody to go for a restaurant or to eat? see if 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 you ask me or my wife, we always end up somewhere in Germantown. Okay, like always, which is always. Cool. Um, City House is probably my favorite my favorite place. Okay. Um, Where we go? We went to a place called Palato a couple weeks ago. That was that was good. Is it is it Italian? It's like Italian and tapas kind of. Ooh, that sounds oh, wow. good. Wow, look at these. Oh, do Let's check do, that out. Do I want to do that? I don't know if I want to do that this early. We'll go there though. All right. So if you, I didn't tell you, but if you get a question, I'll just have you read it out and answer it. No question no on question. there either. All right, let's do let's do one of these. Um, do you remember, or what is the time? When is the time that you laughed the hardest? Can you remember a time that you laughed the hardest? Oh man, my six-year-old was pretending to be a wrestler. He was pre pretending to be Andre the Giant, <laughs> and he had <laughs> like couch one. pillows on his front and his back, and was like walking around, like bumping into everybody. We all got a pretty good laugh about that for a really long time because I mean he's the so you know, I got three boys he, so he's like you know he's this big and everyone else is just so much bigger than him and he's just like how did they get to Andre the Giant YouTube no they're real big into WWE Battlegrounds on the Switch right now oh yeah and so he's a he's a character you can you can get <clears throat> along with some other old school <clears throat> ones and so they got they all got in, into him recently cool. I kind of. He's a like, large like, human. I know, right? No questions on here. There's a there's a barcode on this one. Barcode, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> all uh, right, yeah. so let's do because um, we have all kinds of stuff changing in our industry right now. What is like? Where is your industry going in the near future? Like, where where are you guys now? Yeah. Is, are you at a good point? Like, or is are you struggling with? Rate increases and changes. Or where where are you guys in the health insurance? Sure. Sure. So I mean, health health and you know, health and Medicare, the two areas that we deal the most in, you know, the, the Medicare, Medicare, I see changes happening soon. Uh, there's a whole new set of rules going in in 2025 of, you know, different Medicare laws and payment laws and some of that kind of stuff. Uh, so I see that changing. Um, I don't know how much is going to change for us right right away, but there's going to be changes down there because they're doing some caps on payments and there's a lot of stuff with carrier at the carrier level. So I think there's going to be a trickle down effect through clients and everything. And then obviously, you know, right now there's 62 million Americans on Medicare. By 2035, there's going to be 91 million. Wow. So like all the baby boomers are rolling through here over the next decade. Yes, yeah, so they got to figure so they gotta, stuff you know, out. So, so there's going to be some things happening there. I see the biggest changes there. And the other part is I've never been in a business that's so regulated by the government mm -hmm. and what party is in. Um, so just, you know. It, oh, that, so it that, does that, affect depending on what who the president is? It can because, you know, individual health insurance, the Affordable Care Act is, a, is yeah. more of a Democratic bill. Yeah. Um, it's got a ton of great stuff in it. And so a Republican comes in, you know, last Republicans wanted to repeal it. 
didn't happen, I think it's too far gone to repeal something that big now. So it's just interesting to keep up with some of that stuff. Yeah. But I think, I think Medicare is where we're going to see more of the changes coming up. Do you guys, like, we're getting hit hard with, like, I mean, renewals are 20, 40 percent increases. Are you size, are you seeing large increases right now from a premium standpoint? Not right now. Good. But I think when, when more of these uh, payment caps happen on the Medicare space, I think we could see some price increases. It's kind of my vision. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, but as long as it's but, not happening right now. But as long as it's not happening right now, we're fine. Keep rolling with <laughs> so it. Let's right. see how many people we can get on the books for now. Yeah. I did get a question. All right, let's see it. Or let's hear it. What's a common misconception about your profession? It's the same misconception I think I had before I got into it. All insurance agents are slimy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. Is that a <laughs> but it's. Um, you know, in our world for sometimes for decent reason, because you're just, you know, you have people grinding out and like kind of going through it. And like, you know, the biggest compliment I get sometimes is like, oh, that was easy. Or yeah. like, you know. Or you return my call. Yeah, or right. You, you just call me back. Well. You know, yeah, you, yeah, you communicated right. well. It was clear. I understood it. It's like, okay, like you can be a little different just by being nice right. and responsive yeah. <laughs> and honest. It's true, man. You it know? is. It so, makes a difference. So those, I would say that's the biggest thing. Because I mean, I didn't, I went. Five years with someone trying to get me into it, telling them no. Yeah. And I was like, this is, this is not, I never want to sell insurance. Yeah. That sounds awful. Yeah. And now I'm like, thank God I sell insurance. Yeah. Like, it's great. <laughs> it's a good business model, right? <laughs> yep. That's exactly right. All right. Oh, boy. Ooh. Ooh. But I got two for there. All right. Oh. We'll just keep rolling. That might go right, right. This could get interesting if. Oh. Did you get anything? No question. All right, let's do, um, let me see a good one. What is a, like I'm always interested to hear about like a good outdoor area like around Nashville that you like to go to, like uh, a hiking area or waterfall or something like that that you've gone to recently that you're like kind of a little hidden gem. Warner Parks, we love. Okay. Um, I live over near there. <clears throat> so hiking, trail running, kids out there creeks, whatever. Love the water parks. Yeah. Um, and it's close. Yeah. So that's, that's a big one. Now, like, um, this was a few years ago, but we went to Cummins Falls. Mm -hmm. So kind of towards like, yeah. whatever, Cookville, Crossville. Yeah. That place was awesome. That's one of the few ones I've actually done. And it was, it was really cool. It was really cool. You know, yeah. we, we hiked all the way down. Did you swim? We just swam, did got you? in the waterfall. Like we did the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, we, we, we didn't have any kids with us. So it was just like, oh, that's cool. Let's, let's do the yeah. whole thing while I mean, we're here. It's, we saw all kinds of people that were like people in sandals. They were walking on all these crazy rocks and oh. stuff. And I'm like, I was, I had shoes on and I was like uneasy just <laughs> yes. with like, and I'm like, they're going to like break something. Oh, hurt I, was, themselves. I was like, how are they going to get back and, up? Oh, I know. And I saw somebody like a couple weeks later, and he like separated his shoulder from falling on one of those rocks. Oh. So it does happen. All right. Did I just go? No, Wilma. Dang it. Oh, I was trying to get good. I, I try to do that good. every now and then, get an extra one. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a. Oh, no. the hmm. standing desk can I accidentally hit something and move it while you're going and I know yeah you could <laughs> <laughs> that's uh all right yeah so this is a business question how has your industry changed in the last five years have you seen a, a big change we've seen a really big change actually it's pre-covid so 2019 early 2020 and prior I probably did 95 percent of my business face to face mm-hmm um and a lot of it was done on the road. So people not necessarily come into an office because my, my territory was, you know, almost to Memphis and Crossville. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so on the road a lot. As soon as 2020 COVID happens, everything has to go remote. So then now that has very much changed how people do business uh, when it comes to health insurance. Yeah. Because now you can do it over the phone. All the, and and all the parameters are in place that, and people yeah. are not comfortable with it. Yeah. And so it's like, you know, my office is in Green Hills. I'll have somebody that's five minutes away, and I'll be like, yeah, you can come on in the office. Like, can we do it over the phone? Yeah. I'm like, sure. <laughs> sure. I mean, if you yeah. really want to, but yeah. I'm right down the road. Yeah. So that, that for me, has been the biggest change. It's like I went from putting 35,000 miles on my car a year to not much yeah. anymore. Yeah. That's been the biggest change recently that's been, ooh. And it's funny, too. Like, I don't know about y'all, like, you know, how you can do it face-to-face -face or people coming in here versus, you know, on the phone. I see a lot of agents across the country that are in smaller towns. Mm -hmm. And the face-to-face -face models there just kill it. 
Yeah. Because they're like, yeah, I'll have people drive 45 minutes to see me. And I'm like, I won't have people drive five. <laughs> yeah. And it does. I mean, I know the times that I do get to sit down with somebody and it is face to face. I think you slow down a little bit more mm -hmm. and then you still just have a personal, more of a personal connection. So there, there yeah. is something to that, but you got to have people willing to do it. That's right. So, That's right. Let me see. Oh. The the base is kind of frightening. Yeah, it's right oh, now. We gotta be easy here. Oh boy! Ooh, ooh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. What is the best part about working in health insurance in your field? Oh man, probably the flexibility. Right? You know, getting started is hard. Yeah. <clears throat> it's it's difficult. I mean, it takes you know it takes a couple years. Maybe maybe. You know, maybe more than that now, maybe three years. But once you build your, your, you know, you build your book, you build your footprint, you do some of that kind of stuff, it, um, you know, the flexibility is just the best. Where do you get majority of your leads? Are you getting them from, you know, like PNC insurance agents or individuals or a little bit of both? Or it's kind of all over right now. Um, when I first started, it was just straight leads, you know, internet leads, people calling in, mm -hmm. like. Don't get me wrong, like that I kind of enjoyed because I didn't really want to call my friends and family. Um, that was kind of the thing I wanted to stay away from. And then I realized like, oh wait, I can actually help these people. Yeah. But it, it's been, it's, it's referral partners like y'all, um, PNC agents. Um, I have a couple like financial advisors. Mm -hmm. Those are more that we can do more of those because like, you know, they're dealing with so many people now going into retirement. Tons of people retiring early. It's like, what do we do about our insurance from 62 to 65? I've started doing some more direct mail this year with some Medicare stuff and just targeted zip codes and, and things like that. Has that been successful? So far, I've had a little bit of success with it. I don't think it's going to be like, you know, game changing, but I think right. it's it's going to be gives you branding as much as anything. Line of stuff. Oh, my goodness. And then our book, you know, your book does a does a good job if you do, you know, same thing we just talked about a minute ago. Like if, if I'm responsive and I answer the phone and talk to people, like they're going to refer me. Ooh. It's, it's wobbly <laughs> up there. Um, I'm going to take it. I'm going to ask my last question over here because I'm not a, sure I'm going to get another one. <laughs> um, <laughs> gonna all right. So the question we have, this is the one thing we found that we oh, wanted to get to know about you. But have you ever successfully... Lifted a friend up, a la Dirty Dancing on Broadway. <laughs> Successfully? Yeah. <laughs> no. I have 0 for 1 in my well, life. You tried. I, I tried all, my best. We've all tried it, but I've you tried really tried it. Like, you sold I, out. I tried it. I sold out. I said, I'm going to do this. Was it a smaller friend? or a It was a smaller friend. friend. Okay, it was our good. smallest friend. <laughs> I mean, he was only, he's only about this high. Yeah. <laughs> um, he does work out. <laughs> Maybe he didn't get up high enough was the problem. See, I think part of the problem was his, his jump was very poor. Ooh, Broadway had nothing to do with it. No, absolutely not. It was not the stage's fault. Um, but it was, yeah, that was a bad. And you got injured from and it. And I got injured from it. I fractured my scapula right over here. No surgery, though? No surgery. That's good. About 11 weeks in a sling. Oh, my gosh. My wife was real happy, real happy about that. Um, really helpful around the house? Really helpful around the house. You know, there were some colorful things said when I told her the story that can't be repeated. Yeah. <laughs> but it was, uh, <laughs> yeah, that was awful. <laughs> Made me learn so I was like, oh, I can pick up my kids. They're fine. Yeah, we can do this. And this is not I didn't, good. I didn't quite realize how much heavier a full-grown human <laughs> is than a nine-year-old, almost ten-year-old. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah, this is where I don't know what the rules are on about how high you're supposed to go, but I don't either. So that's we'll just. Oh my gosh. Oh. 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 Ooh, does that help me though? All right. So. Ooh. So when somebody's looking for health insurance, trying to decide where to go, why would you say like what you do and yourself, why would you be the person that would be a good option for someone? Well, I, one, you know, for me is similar to y'all, like I'm a broker. So I have, you know, technically 200 plus carriers. Um, but in, you know, in Nashville and Tennessee, every major carrier. So really for me, it's like, I can check all the options. Um, and I don't have to fit, you know, kind of a square peg in a round hole type of thing. <clears throat> so that's the that's the thing. And then the other thing too is, you know, I I get nobody enjoys health insurance. Yeah. You know, nobody loves seeing it come out of their bank account every month. Like it's a large cost. Mm -hmm. So like, but it's a necessary thing. Mm -hmm. um, so if we can make that process easier 
somewhat enjoyable, hopefully, you yeah. know, have decent conversations, make it easier for them. Like that's the yeah. biggest thing is I try to make it as easy as I can for them. You've done um, a great job for us. So well, thank you for well, that. Absolutely. It's great to Much have. appreciated. I mean, I'll be honest. We have, I and mean, we've had a couple other referral sources in the past. They've done a good job, but it's just really nice to have somebody that we trust. And we know that we refer them that they're going to be well taken care of because that yeah. doesn't always happen. So yeah, that's, thank you for that. Absolutely, much appreciated. And same, same back to y'all because I, you know, I have people ask me like, you know, who do you, you know, who do you recommend or do you do? You know, I have people ask, do you, you know, do you do home and auto as well? I'm like, no, but I got guys. Yeah, well, that not only that, that not, do, you know, yeah. that not only do it. You know, they do a great job and they they do mine personally and more of my clients now. This is all right. This is this has gotten tough. I still. That's not going to work. Do you have, um, like, in the industry, is there, like, a mentor or somebody that you worked with or that's, that taught you along the way, somebody you can credit all your success to? Man. Or did um, you just get in there and, and hack at it and figure it out? Um, a little bit of both. No, I mean, I've had a lot of good people um, kind of help me out. I had a oh – he's not, he's not in – uh, well, he's partially in the, the insurance business, but he's out of – he lives in Knoxville. I call him Rev. He's a former pastor. Got out of that, got into this business. <clears throat> then got back into the church. And now is is building a church in Knoxville, but does this part-time. I mean, me and him would talk every day. Okay. Um, so he kind of helped me through a lot of the early stuff. And then the guy who hired me also, too, like he, you know, he asked me for years. He's like, dude, you should do it. You should do this. And I'm like, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. And then finally, once we started having kids, it was like, because I worked for the Preds. Yeah, my oldest was probably like three weeks old. And I think I worked four nights out of, out of five in a row yeah. or six in a row or four That's out tough. of six. Yeah. You know, and we're there at 830 in the morning. I'm there till 11 o'clock at night. And I was like, there's a better way. Yeah. You know, I'm doing it in sales. It's like, you know, I might yeah, as well travel. I might as well, yeah. you know, if I'm going to do this, yeah. I might as well travel and, and try to make some more money and do that versus what I'm doing. Um, but then I went to him. I was like, all right, let's, I'll listen. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this, this seems like a pretty good career. Yeah, it might work out. <laughs> this um, might work out. What about, as I'm about to knock this over, what about the um, best book you've read recently? Oh, man. Um, Are you like a, like, I'm a sucker for like the, I shouldn't say self-help, improvement books or whatever. Yeah, like, God, I, I am. I'm tired of reading them because I'm like, I can't improve myself anymore. I'm tired that's, of it. that's, I, I, I oh, um. Gosh. What was the last book? I do a lot of Audible books. Yeah. When I read book books, it's more like fiction stuff. Um, I got into this series of like Western novels uh, that were fiction that I enjoy. But man, I do a lot of this more stuff. Good. I'm reading right now. I'm in the middle of a book called Endure. Um, is it? Is it? Who, who wrote that? It's. Um, is it Cameron Haynes? Yes. Okay. It's a Cameron Haynes book. Those books. It's so far so good. Those books good. are so good, but they yeah. feel kind of like a loser. Right yeah, exactly. Like, it's like, he's I, don't like, oh. do, I don't do anything cool. He's like, oh, I went on like an eight-day bow hunting experience right. with no food, and then I ran, ran the 18 whole, trail races, and I ran a 400 ran the miles, whole and I'm way. Like, like, I can't even... I can't even lift up my friend without fracturing a scapula. Like, what's wrong oh, with me? Boy. That lost oh, this is, this is not good. What about... Uh, this is not good. What about the best piece of advice you've gotten? Can you remember like a, a piece of advice somebody, a parent, a coworker, anybody's given you? Oh, that's not gonna do it. I want it too so bad. Uh, this side's not good right here. You're talking me into it. I'm not gonna listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say like like it's simple, but like consistency. Yeah. Like just be consistent. Just yeah. show up every day. Yeah. Be consistent. You know like. If you don't, you know, oh, oh no, <laughs> <laughs> like if you don't, if you don't have the bummer, no, we'll get them, you can leave them there. Like if you don't have the, the want to that day. That's for everything though, right? Just like I show mean, up and like do yeah. it. But even if you do like, just like go yeah. and just do it, do it. Don't, cause that's the thing about, you know, I'm sure like, you know, we all's insurance side similar is like, I don't have to show up. Yeah. Nobody's checking on me. Yeah. Um, but like. If you don't, you know, one losing one day can put you behind two or three days yeah. for us, especially new, especially when you're yeah. new. Like that's the biggest thing is just like be consistent, like do it every day. Yeah, and I think it's great. I think it goes for everything in life. I yeah, think, exactly. You know? It's like I had 
work out and then it's like go five days without yes. it. It's like at least do something. Yeah, do you something. Know? Move. Show up. So well, hey man. Uh, I so thank sad. you. I I'm appreciate so it. I, lost. I was on a little bit of a, a losing losing to peel there. So I thanks. felt bad thanks. for you, so I wanted I to it. Yeah, so just uh, if you can just finish out just by telling us like um, how to find you. Yeah. So either social media, internet, what what's the best way to track you down and and uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. best way probably to track me down website is MyersInsuranceAdvisors.com. You know, you can find all my info there. You can it's M Y E R S. So M Y E R S InsuranceAdvisors.com. Okay. You know, it's kind of interactive. Obviously, contact information's there. Book an appointment with me right there. Um, and then, like I said, offices in Green Hills on Richard Jones Road. Pop in, see us. Who's like your Who is like your ideal client? Like, if you were, or, or who who are you able to help the most? Like, who are the people that if, if somebody's, you know, does watch this and says, you know, if he'd be a good fit for me or not, like who's a good fit for you? Um, it's, it's either, you know, anybody who's self-employed runs a small business type of thing. Um, that's, that's, that's a great one. Um, and then the other ones are, are people on Medicare. You know, if you are on Medicare and you've never checked your plan, you've never just did a review, that turning 65, um, but that is also like early retirees. That seems to be a big one I'm getting a lot more of now. It's like, I'm 62, I don't really want to work anymore. I can retire, I can pull Social Security. Yeah, they don't, and have, I, the, don't have the group coverage And it's anymore. like, I don't have group coverage. Like, what do yeah. I do until I'm 65? I can't get Medicare. That's probably one of the bigger ones I'm running into right now is like, what do I do? Okay. Um, and so it's like, yeah, we, we have options, yeah. um, if that's the case. Some good, some average, but we have options. <laughs> well, thanks again for all you yeah. do for us, man. Absolutely. It's, it is like... You, I mean, it's it's also I know it's mutually beneficial to you to have us send you stuff, but for us, it's just to have someone to trust that we know is going to do a good yeah. job is great. We have a couple like people that we refer out um, different industries, and you know, for you being our health insurance guy, it's awesome. Sweet. So I love thanks it. for thanks yeah. for helping us out. Yeah, same for y'all. So I mean, appreciate it, man.